on Hulu from just last year, 2017. I watched Aftermath starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Scoot McNeary, Taken's daughter, and uh, another hot chick, Hannah Ware. So anyways, uh, this movie, lower budget, still released by uh, Lionsgate. I think they picked this up a little late in its life. Uh, I think maybe they had higher hopes for this and it got bought at a film festival. I think that's the case. I may be mistaken. But this is Arnold trying to do drama. And there's really nothing wrong with that. It's just outside his wheelhouse. It's not what people are paying to see Arnold do. And he's not the best drama performer, but he's really not the problem with this movie. This movie fails from being bland, predictable, meandering, and probably even from a trailer that gives away 95% of the film. So we got this guy, uh, we're just gonna call him Arnold Schwarzenegger, just Arnold. He's a construction worker, he's a dedicated worker, works for uh, the, the uh, Secret Service guy from 24, Glenn Morshore. I think he's in like all the Transformer movies, except maybe the new one, I don't know. Uh, anyways, he is uh, expecting his wife and his daughter to come home. I guess they were over in the old country. And his, his daughter is pregnant. And so he's, he's welcome home. He's going to see her for the first time since this announcement. And he goes to pick him up in the morning on a plane, red eye flight, I guess. The plane's not there. Hey, mister, why don't you come over here, sit down? Okay, I've got some uh, some news. There's been an emergency with the flight. We don't expect there to be any survivors. Have a nice day. No, actually, the airport, the airlines were much less callous than that. Uh, but you get a lot of this in the movie. You get a lot of Arnold looking sad. And by looking sad, there's a lot of like, let's sit down and kind of stare into blankness. Some grief. I don't see a lot of tears. You overhear it in another room, another guy's reaction. And then you get the uh, other side of the story here. You got this guy, Jacob. He's the uh, air traffic control guy. Uh, one guy was taking a break and he's left alone in the tower. And I've really got to wonder if this is protocol. One guy, multiple headsets, multiple planes to coordinate, one guy, really? That's all we're putting forward, you know, in the interest of lower rates. Let's have as few people working as possible. So he's routing some guys around. One pilot's heard over uh, the headphone that he's not using. Hey, I didn't get confirmation. We're going to lower the flight anyways. Thanks. Boom, they crash at 6,000 feet. It's like, okay, why is all the blame being put on this one air traffic control guy? Think about this. The airline, the airport don't want blame. They blame the individual, the worker. He gets put in a situation where everybody's labeling a murderer, and eventually he has to trade out his identity, seems to be separated from his wife and kid, and he's under a new name. Well, Arnold, like posed as a, like a hazmat guy, looking through the wreckage, finds his, his daughter, her earring, her necklace. There's a memorial built, and it's done and inspired by this necklace design. We see this year later. Jacob's got a new name. What was his name? Like Dilbert? I was it Will Dilbert? I or Pat Pat Dilbert? I think. Yeah. Well, if the movie is going to be breaking up into these acts, saying like Arnold's name and then Jacob, why didn't it just go into the next one saying Pat? Here's Pat's new story. He's a travel agent. Arnold uses this reporter Hannah Ware. Who I swear looked black at first when I saw her, first saw her coming to see in this movie. Maybe she is? Should I say it like that? Lots of worms all over the place. We had quite a bit of rain late, lately, last couple days here. So if you're seeing that stuff on the in the background, that's worms. Black worms dead. So Arnold comes up to him, and through the movie, we're just seeing him looking for people to apologize. He's going alone to sue the the airline for negligence. No one wants to apologize. You have these entirely one-dimensional played up stereotypes, these archetype lawyers. Hey, Hans, baby, you know, 
what to do yeah yeah like like they got their training from uh, uh that guy in die hard right Shit, what was his name yeah that's that's basically what they're doing right it's not much performance but hey we don't we ain't saying we're sorry here pal yeah so arnold looks like he wants to get an apology from this guy finds his house as he seen or his apartment as his wife and kid are visiting and he's like look at this picture i lost my family i want someone to apologize and he's like hey go away you're crazy what are you doing here you're crazy the guy just keeps selling all these crazy and all the snaps because now he's crazy right you know you tell him that enough maybe he believes it stabs him just has a knife out of nowhere it's not a knife he's been carrying around really it's just hey now i've got a knife stabs him a couple times gut neck and you know that's it lights out the guy had a gun didn't get to use it and you saw this guy you know you feel bad for pat slash jacob because he didn't mean for this to happen it shouldn't have been on him he shouldn't have borne the brunt of this responsibility his wife and kids see this go down they're crying they're sobbing on the couch arnold sits on the couch he calls them by the names of his wife and daughter you know, shoving this like temporary insanity. And keep in mind the pose he strikes on the couch. He's sitting on one side, they're close to the other. He's got his arm over it, basically a pillow. It mirrors the picture he's been going around showing people to apologize. And they're in some little flashback aligning the two. You just had to kind of be observant. It's a little hard to be observant in a movie where not a lot happens, where scenes are just Let's get a scene of Arnold kind of driving and maybe he can stop and contemplate. There's a lot of names that show up in the credits that don't appear to be in the movie. Some model, Joy Corrigan, she was probably a stripper named Shelly. Never saw her in the movie. There's a guy, why am I saying she's a stripper? Because there's a guy credited as a strip club DJ and there's no strip club. I shit you not. So that's this movie, right? Not entirely. Arnold goes to jail. I guess 10 years passed, but he looks about the same. Goes in looking a little overweight and old. Comes out looking the same way. As soon as he gets out, he got parole because I guess he's shown some good behavior and some people kind of agree with his position of revenge, I guess. Some guy tails him with a hoodie up. And you're like, oh, I know where this is going. Arnold goes to the grave of his wife and daughter. This guy's like, hey, I'm lost. You help me get out of here? Yeah, sure, just walk this way. Oh, so uh, there's a giveaway here. You smell tine. That's not tine. My dad used to use that when he made eggs raw for me. Uh, now I gotta, st I gotta kill you, old guy. I've got a gun. He's like, do it. You know, I'm at peace. I'm sorry. I apologize. Your dad didn't. <laughs> he didn't quite say it like that, right? But you get the picture here. Well, Arnold uh, gets away with that. The guy's like, you know, I've taught better. And then he just kind of sits down and cries and all walks away into movie. That's it. That's your thrilling conclusion. Mind you, the trailer has Arnold knocking on Pat slash Jacob's door. So you know he finds him. And it's not like this whole movie is him investigating trying to find somebody. You know, you want to play this up as a drama? Better idea. When I watched Ocean's Eleven for the first time, the DVD had an error in it. There was a lot of DVDs of errors. Wouldn't necessarily start where the movie's supposed to start. It started like maybe a scene or two in where George Clooney, it, it totally skipped the opening thing saying Warner Brothers, whatever. George Clooney's like sitting for this parole hearing and he, it, the camera's just on him and people are asking him stuff off camera and he's kind of acting against it, right? That's what this should have been. Arnold just comes, he's seated, somebody walks in, you never see them, you just hear it. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting, so there's been an accident with the plane and then you just see Arnold act. Just five minutes of Arnold. Holding on Arnold. Then you get the awards talk. Oh, but I don't know how to make movies. I'm just some white guy from Kansas. I, I can't be held responsible for for million dollar budgets and shit. No, nope, that's not me. That's not the way our society works. Screw that shit. I give Aftermath two out of four stars. 